it was very scary, obviously, um, just the thought of having to close down. We had to call parents, we had to cancel camp, and I mean, it's one of the, our biggest um, income. We had to say no to that, and that was really hard. <laughs> Hi, my name is Margie and I'm the owner here at Hands and Art Studio. We do different uh, art classes here for both children and adults. We do, uh, well, arts and crafts classes here. Um, anything from painting, ceramics, wood workshop, crafting workshops, we kind of just do it all here. It's uh, most definitely for everyone. Uh, we do birthday parties here, bachelorette parties. It's perfect for date nights, team building. We've even done art therapy here at our studio, so it's definitely for everyone. Uh, we do get some people that come in with experience in art, but for the most part, everyone that comes in has no experience whatsoever. It's more of a way to come in and relieve stress while having fun and just kind of connecting with your friends and family. We're more like workshops. They're one-time workshops. Uh, they're about two hours long, so you can just kind of go online and book something uh, one class at a time, like you had said. So let's say you want to do the pottery wheel, you'll come in, we'll guide you through making like a bowl or a cup, you'll make make it yourself, you'll glaze it yourself. Um, you'll do it all yourself, but with our guidance. Well, I grew up always around, not around art, but always wanted to make art. I would just kind of take things apart and put it together a different way, make different crafts and things like that. Um, as I got older, I went to school actually to become a veterinarian, that was my goal. Uh, but once I got my associates in biology, I took a break, I didn't want to do the medical field after all, and I went back and got my bachelor's in studio art. And so during that time was when I got a little bit of experience in all the different art mediums. So I learned to appreciate ceramics and painting and drawing and all the different kinds of art that there is out there. Uh, can you talk about what those first maybe days or weeks were like as a business owner, like when we start hearing those rumblings that there might be a shutdown? Right, yeah, so it was very scary, obviously, um, just the thought of having to close down. I know the last day that my kids got out of school for spring break was when they announced that they weren't going to come back. Um, so that started the panic, I would say, because we at the week after is when we're supposed to have spring camp here at our studio. So we had to call parents, we had to cancel camp, and um, not only do we love camp, I mean, it's one of the, our biggest um, income, you know, for at least the spring, it brings in a lot of income. And, we had to say no to that, and that was really hard. Um, but for uh, our studio, at least, my most important thing was the health of me and my staff. Um, so we decided to close for the time being, and we started offering virtual classes instead. So we would put together the kids, people would come pick them up, and we would teach them virtually. So we immediately started to come up with a way to still be able to provide art to you know the community and. Um, I still wanted to bring income, you know, to my staff. I didn't want to just let them go and, and for all of us to suffer. It went really well, so um, we started to get a lot of people, you know, signing up for a class, picking up kits, um, and then I started really going towards the kit aspect, so um, we started putting together full kits, all materials, all supplies, even the instructions would be provided in the kit. Um, you'd come pick it up here, you'd take it home. We wouldn't have to be present at all. You just kind of put together, put it together at home and be done with it. So um, when that started to take off, I decided to try and add them onto our Etsy page. And from there, we just, we blew up. Yeah, I mean, we've been able to ship to Canada, Switzerland, Australia, all over the, we've been all over the world. We've done virtual workshops through Etsy also all over the world. Um, so it's it's been a very, a very good change for us and a different way for us to grow too. When I first started, I want to say from the very beginning, I might have been open maybe three to six months when I was introduced to uh, Mission EDC and their actual uh, Ruby Red Ventures program or workshops. So I signed up for that um, from the very beginning and they teach you everything. They, they, I already had a business plan, but I did it again through them. They teach you how to do a business plan. They teach you everything that you need to know in order to start a business. 
And then at the very end, um, certain businesses can qualify to get a grant, which will go you know, straight towards your business. And so I was able to get $10,000 from that, and that really helped kind of jumpstart my business as well. Um, with the chamber, they would highlight my business um, on their social media, things like that would just kind of help. Um, City of Mission would help as well. I think after being open for about two years, I started doing um, like an art market. It's an outdoor art market that I would do at my previous location. And we would have just all sorts of vendors come out and sell their art and the city helped us. I mean, they would um, bring lights for us, generators, they would, you know, have the police come and kind of monitor the place as well. So it's, it feels really good and I feel like it's very important if you have an art studio or really any business to have that support from your city because they'll always find a way to share your things and support you in any way that they can. We invite you to come in and take a class here with us, create some art, um, bring some drinks and snacks to enjoy here at our studio. Um, can't wait to see you. We hope you sign up. You can find us through social media, our uh, website, book a class now, and we'll see you soon.